Yo, 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 yo. Athletes, should you train for hypertrophy? Yes. I think so. Gains. <laughs> What's up, everyone? So check it out. I'm here with Bryce. What's going on, Bryce? How we doing? Doing great. So a question we get a lot is athletes, should they train for hypertrophy, which is muscle growth. What do you think about that? Yes. One is they feel damn good about themselves. I mean, we got, we got, we, every dude we train comes in just like so introverted, like not everyone. We get some, we get some gangsters in there, right? But then every introverted kid we train by the end of like an eight week program, they will not put their damn shirt back on. These are the boys, of course, but they are so confident and they build muscle. And that's part of just lifting, right? And being yep. a teenager. But if you look at how Exos lays things out, there's three phases, hypertrophy, strength, and power. Yep. And you might wonder yourself, why would an athlete care about hypertrophy? But hypertrophy plays a huge role in strength and power. Yep, I think, I mean, easy way to put it, Every contact, every sport has contact, so why not build your body to actually withstand it and be able to essentially build yourself armor? Like, that's easiest way I've always heard it is you're protecting your body with armor, so your muscle is armor. It's a really simple thing I've always heard growing up, and still to this day, it's held true. Like, you're protecting yourself with the muscle, even though we're not being muscle bound. It's just you're allowing that added increased muscle to be your armor. Yeah, and it's only a small part. So if you look at Exos, they do, let's say if it's a 12-week program, four, four, and four. It's four weeks. It's, you're not going to build too much muscle in four weeks, but let's say you have a 12-week a program and you get the hypertrophy. So why would we want muscle growth in athletes? Well, I mean, it's, let me give you an analogy, the one that Exos does, because it's the best one yet. So let's say you have a boat that can fit 12 people. So... Let's look at the muscle as you have a smaller muscle. So you have two dudes rowing. Okay, the boat's going to go so fast. So then you add dudes. So you add two more dudes. It's going to go faster. You add two more dudes. It's going to go faster. You get up to 12 dudes. It's going way faster because there's more dudes to give you force to propel that boat ahead. So hypertrophy is the actual building of muscle hyperplasia is the actual addition of new muscle cells which will happen if you train for hypertrophy so by having more hyperplasia and hypertrophy you are allowing the muscle to grow more muscle more firing of the muscle more firing of the muscle more power output more power output more strength more strength more velocity more velocity more speed more speed speed kills you win state that was phenomenal you know what i'm really glad we recorded that on the good microphone <laughs> Um, I really, if I rehearsed anything, it would not come out like no. that. This is, this is all ad-libbed. Um, so at the end of the day, we don't want athletes to look like me. Um, if they do, that's great, but they still need to be able to move. Yep. But there are certain sports that we need to be cognizant. For example, sports that have weight limits. We train wrestlers. If I have a wrestler come in, and he needs to wrestle because wrestling's messed up. So let's say we had a kid on our team, on the team I coached last year, right? So he was a natural 160 pounder. All right. But he had to get down to 152 because Drew wrestled at 160. And no one was going to take Drew's spot. No. <laughs> Drew placed fifth in state, fourth or fifth? I think fifth in state. I can't remember. And um, absolute beast, right? Yeah. So, so this poor kid could not add muscle. He literally had to lose muscle. So if we have that kid come into us and say, hey, I'm 164 pounds now, and he's already lean, but he's like, but I have to wrestle at 152. First, we're going to say, oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's terrible. Would, Second, mm. we're not doing hypertrophy. No. We are simply going to go lower reps, power. We're not going to use eccentrics at all. Nope. We're just going to train power and strength. But if you're a football player, 
and you're a lineman or a linebacker or a quarterback, any position, oh, we're we're gonna build you some damn muscle. Yeah, and I, you said it best. Don't look like you. Don't look now, like now. That is not a bad thing. Like we want kids to have the confidence. There's no doubt about it. We already have plenty of stories about that. But we want to build that muscle because it is literally going to curtail to everything else we try to do. Yes. It's, it's not going to get... People have already did it. You're a bodybuilder or a powerlifter. Well, yeah. that, for fun. Yes, for fun. That's what we like to do. Mm-hmm. Does not mean that is how we create and detail our programs out. Programming for us is probably 25% strength training the rest of it are things that you're walking into our gym and you're seeing us doing our movements and demonstrating them like that's what we do we're we're training athletes not lifters but every good team starts with a good strength coach that's where it's gone now and you look at strength coaches like dave andrews over at Pitt like Alan Bishop over at Houston, they literally take, uh, they're not going to take a a 200th place team and make them first, but they'll take a a 50th place team and make them 22nd. They'll take a fifth place team and make them first. So the difference in what we do, we're not going to turn a horrible team into a world champion. We'll turn a horrible team into an average team. We'll turn an average team into a good team. We'll turn a good team into a great team. We'll turn a great team into a championship team. And that's what it does. Um, what we do, what strength training coach, what strength coaches do is they complement the actual coaches. We are not there to take the coach's nope. job. That's what you say all the time. I don't want to be a basketball coach. I don't want to coach football. Nope. I don't want to coach wrestling. All I do is I make everything they do more powerful, faster, and make the athlete less prone to getting injured and ruining their career and or their season. Yep. Uh, you couldn't have said it any better. We are an extension of their staff. That's, That's it. what it is. That's it. We're just an adjunct. We, we don't, we, we create, we create athletes and you create sport specific athletes. Yep. We complement every movement for every, but that's not to say we're training basketball players the same as lacrosse players nope. and lacrosse players the same as wrestlers, but there's a lot of commonalities. They all need reaction, right? They all need good reaction. They all need change of direction. They all need, they all need injury prevention. We need to take care of everyone's knees. We need to take care of everyone's shoulders and we need everyone to be faster. Nobody's ever been, man, that guy would have been great if he wasn't so damn fast. No, I no, never heard of it. Speed kills. Yep. And uh, just flashback before I end this video. The most questionable strategy in college football history was when the University of Miami drafted linemen who were the smallest in the country. Literally the smallest D1 oh, defensive remember. line in the country. I believe The Rock was on that line. And the thing is, they were the smallest... They were also the fastest. That was Warren Sapp too, wasn't it? Warren Sapp was the exception. He was fat as hell. What but overall, they had small players, but they recruited for speed. So our goal is to have big, strong, fast athletes. Now, if you're a soccer player, right? Like my daughter, she's a better player at 130 than she was at 155 because she's faster. Yep. But she maintained every single bit of her strength so now she's just faster but she maintained her strength the only issue is when she gets checked she doesn't have as much weight there's still physics involved yeah but i mean i've seen it happen i don't know i think i've been to three games now but you still get checked but she's the one that still lands on her feet still can absorb every force so it it does have physics but at the same time we know your daughter is going to be safer landing mm-hmm. in, in that kind of contact. The, there was a game we were playing versus um, the New York Flash, which is another ECNL club. And we were up by three, and Cammy was just shutting down the back. And so they got frustrated at the end, and they were just, every time she'd make a run, they'd push her from behind. Yellow cards flying. And all the other parents, every time she fell, were afraid she was going to get an ACL tear or some kind of an injury. And I was just chilling. And one of the dads was like, you got to be just watching this. You got to be petrified. I'm like, no, nah, she'll get up. She literally trains for this. She was like literally like created in a lab to withstand this yep. kind of trauma. 
So think of, you know, you go to the hospital with a traumatic injury, that's trauma care. Think of us as trauma prevention. Wow. That, damn, that's two in one day. Mental jewels, man. Yeah, man. All right, guys. So thank you. Uh, again, we're going to say this in every video. If you don't live in Nashville, please vacation here. Bring your kids out here. Legacy at carbon.com. First session's free. But if you travel from out of town, we recommend you buy some sessions because you're going to be here for a week and you probably don't want to just hang out. You want yeah. the whole week. But if you're local, again, We'll say this with confidence. Um, we're going to make your kid a better athlete and a better person. 100%. All right, Bryce, thank you. We actually got to go. He's got, we got some classes yep. going on. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Legacyofcarbon.com. That's not a game. I used to have to go through dozens of bottles of vitamins, of supplements, just to get what I need. Look, I'm busy. I'm running multiple businesses. I'm coaching. I'm a professional bodybuilder getting ready for my first pro show. I don't have time to sit there and do all that. I got to go. I'm on the go all the time. That is why I created MTS Nutrition Immortal. Here's how they look. This, all it takes, this replaces dozens of bottles of supplements. And let me tell you exactly what this has. It has probiotics, greens, liver detox, joint support, cardiovascular support, and the most complete multivitamin, multi-mineral supplement ever created. If you have a busy life or you simply want more time to do the things you love and be able to travel by just taking one simple little pack with you, Immortals for you.